All right, now some time ago on Samsung Galaxy phones, we could set the shortcuts for any of the options from the settings menu on the home screen so that we can get the direct access for any of the settings right from the home screen. Now that was possible through a third party application called Shortcut Maker. You see, this is the app interface. We could uh, tap on a settings option where we can just tap on, let's say, for example, battery, and I can create a shortcut and add it on the home screen. Now this shortcut is available right here i don't really have to go to the settings and search for battery settings and then tap on battery and access the settings we could directly access battery right from the home screen here that's a very cool feature which was enabled by a third party application called shortcut maker we can not only set the shortcuts for any of the settings menu we can also set the shortcuts for uh, contacts folders websites split screens inner link files, applications, etc. And we can also set the shortcuts for sub menus. For example, let's say I will tap on intents here. You see, I have got various different options. I got uh, airplane mode settings, APN settings, application settings, battery saver settings, Bluetooth settings, call button, captioning settings, captive portal, cast settings. There are multiple options for which we can get the shortcuts on this application. This is a pretty advanced application for creating shortcuts from the settings menu or from any of the other other areas on the phone. But now we don't really have to use a third party application. We can create our own shortcuts for the settings menu options using a GoodLock module called Registar. Let me open GoodLock here. Now here I'll tap on Life Up. Under Life Up, we have got this module called Registar. I'll tap on this. Now I will tap on Search Options. You see, we have got a toggle here for allowing creation of a shortcut. I can just enable this and uh, I can go back to the settings menu and all I need to do is search the settings that I want. I'll search for wallpaper and uh, uh, style. You see all the settings related to wallpaper will appear here. I can just press and hold on wallpaper and style. You see this pop-up will ask me to set a shortcut. It says add uh, to home screen. Touch and hold an icon or tap add to add it to the home screen. I'll tap on add. Now you see I've got wallpaper and style option right here on the home screen. I can directly tap on this to access wallpaper and style option. Since this gives us a direct access, it saves a couple of steps for this particular operation. I don't have to go to the settings and then tap on wallpaper and style. I can directly access the settings right here. Now, when we are on the settings, we can't really press and hold on any of the options to add the shortcut. We have to search, we have to tap on the search button and then search for the settings that we are looking for and then press and hold on that item to add the shortcut. Let's say now I want to set a shortcut for app notifications. I will search for app notifications. You see, I can just press and hold on this and tap on add to add a shortcut on the home screen. You see now the app notification settings has been added. Now when I tap on this icon, I will be able to directly access app notifications, but it is not taking me directly inside this menu. I will be directed to this particular notifications menu on settings, and then I'll have to tap on app notifications to access the list of applications. However, if we are doing the same thing on this third party app, the shortcut maker, we will be able to directly access that setting. I will just show you that. Let me tap on activities here. Now here, I will search for app notifications. Now you see under settings, I'll have to tap on that. It is showing me app notifications. I will tap on this to add the shortcut. I will create the shortcut here and add it on the home screen. Now, this has been created from this third party app. Now I'll tap on app notifications. You see it is directly taking me inside the app notifications menu. So this app is more precise compared to what register module is offering. So if you want something specific, if you want to get right into the menu options, then you can search for those settings on the uh, shortcut maker application. But if you just want the basic settings uh, shortcuts on the home screen, you can access that by using the register module. All you need to do is just go to the settings, search for the option that you want. Now let me search for screen recorder. I will press and hold on this and add shortcut. Now here I will be able to directly access the screen recording option right here when I tap on that shortcut option. So this is definitely a great feature that we have on a register module. And at the same time, if you want to use this third party application, this is also a great app for making the shortcuts. Now, apart from this, we also have another great feature on register module. Let me open register here. Now here we have got a customize your settings home. I'll tap on this and I'll turn this on. You see, we have got menu order and group settings. 
I'll tap on this. Now here, you can customize the settings menu on your Galaxy phone. We can shuffle these options. We can uh, move it up or down depending on your requirement. And uh, you can disable some of the menu options like you see here. What I've done is I have enabled some of the important settings that I really want to see when I open the settings menu. I have selected battery, display, sound and vibration, notification, modes and routines, lock screen and AOD, security and privacy, device care and uh, advanced features, general management and software update. And rest of the options like tips and user guide about phone apps, digital well-being, uh, location, safety and emergency, accounts and backup, Google, themes, wallpaper and style. These options I really don't want on the settings menu. So I have not selected them and I have only selected these options and I can tap on save. Now when I go to the settings menu, you see I will be able to see only those options which I really want to see. This is the power of good luck on Samsung Galaxy phones. Extreme in-depth customization options that we have even for the system settings as well as the system applications. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, apart from this, we also have settings change history. Now here it is going to show you the history of all the changes that you have made with respect to the settings. In some scenarios, you might have changed some settings and you may not remember that and you want to uh, reset that to default then you can come here to check what settings you have recently changed. You see here it is showing me sound mode, adaptive brightness, extra brightness, Wi-Fi, all these options which I have recently changed are showing up here in the search settings. That's another great feature. Then we do have back tap action and side key press and hold action. We have already discussed about this feature in the past. We can set different functions for double tap and triple tap actions. When I tap on double tap, you see we have got a few options here. We can take screenshot, access the Google voice assistant, start pop up window, show notifications, show recent applications, back button and open an application. You can select any applications to open when you double tap on the back. And I really wish Samsung adds more options here on this particular section. For example, we don't have torch option or flashlight option on this menu of course we can set the shortcuts for side key or the uh, lock screen shortcuts however it would be great to see such options on the double tap action menu as well as triple tap action menu it works similar to the triple tap as well we have got similar options here all in all it's a great application to uh, create shortcuts from the settings menu create back tap actions as well as customizing your settings menu on your galaxy phone let me know what do you think have you been using this feature or this uh, good lock module on your galaxy phone drop a comment and uh, while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in this particular wallpaper on the home screen you can download it by clicking the link in the description every video i post will have a brand new wallpaper you can check out all my previous videos to download some amazing wallpapers that's about it hit the like button if you find this video useful thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye